Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. St. James. St. James. St. James. The first one is what? Pilgrims for wonderful. Wonderful. Pilgrims. Father Kujo is the chief pilgrim. And then he has disciples who are following him. <laughs> so thank you very much, Father Kujo, your CPC, the planning committee of your anniversary, for inviting me to come celebrate with you today. I always watch you online. Today I'm able to celebrate with you. I want to share three things from the readings of today with us. And the first one from the first reading of today talks about the replacement of Judas. The replacement of Judas. So Judas allowed the evil one to use him to betray Jesus. Jesus is crucified. And now the apostles meet and they have to choose a replacement for Judas. Judas, who was supposed to be a disciple, became a leader of a group that came to arrest Jesus. And that resulted in Jesus' death on the cross. And of course, for our good, it was for our salvation. But they had to replace him. And this is the point I want to make with this. In the church, in ministry for God, in the service of God, everyone is important but no one is indispensable if you're a choir rista, you are important if you're a lector you're important for the kujo you're important the parish priest whoever you are in this church you are the one who mounts the gate for the cast to come in you're important but you are not indispensable nobody who does ministry nobody who is serving god should begin to think that as for me when i am not around nothing will go on well no Today, when I mention Pope Benedict XVI, some don't even know him. Those who know him may have even forgotten about him. But he's still around. When he decided to resign, the whole of the world was shaking. Everybody was watching. And some of the news portals were making it look like the church was in crisis. The church is not in any crisis. Today, if I fall down, I die. My parish will get a new priest. They will replace me. So you are you are mass service. We are on strike. You are TUC. We are choristers. Me, I'm tired. The way this choir master is speaking to us, me, I won't sing again. You work in this church, one committee or the other. I ask for father, he doesn't respect us. I have quit. You don't know what you are about because whatever you are doing, you are doing for God. And if you live today, you shall be replaced. Amen. It is important that we have that consciousness. That everyone is important. You are, I am. Father is. The gardener is. Everybody is. But no one is indispensable. When you go, you will be replaced. And God will find another instrument to work for him. Amen. The second thing that is clear in the gospel reading of today is that jesus prays for the unity of the people who follow him it is important that we are united psalm 133 says how beautiful and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters live together in unity he says it is like the oil that is falling down from the head of aaron onto his beard onto the color of his robes onto his robes then he says it is like the dew that falls on Mount Hermon. But the way he ends that song is what is beautiful. He says, when brothers and sisters live together in unity like that, he says, it is there that the Lord bestows his blessing. I pray that because of the unity in this church, God will bless this church. And that God will bless every member of this church. When the disciples were united, we are told, many were added to their fold because it was beautiful and because it was a blessing unto them let's be united and i love how he puts it brothers and sisters live together in unity you can live together and not in unity you pass by each other but you live together but the type that he's talking about is the unity 
in the trinity god himself the unity of mind and heart like the early disciples where they shared everything so that no one was in need amen i pray for such unity in this church as you celebrate 50 years of your existence now the third thing i want to talk about is that he says i consecrate them in the truth the word he uses the consecrate is to set apart and to make holy there are two things or two groups of things that are holy the first one is god who is holy in himself nobody made him holy and the second one is all other things that are holy because of their attachment or association with god so we say father is a holy man of god it is because he is associated with god the altar is holy because it is consecrated to god this chapel is holy because it is consecrated to god you are holy people because at your baptism you have been consecrated to god so when he consecrates us he makes us holy now while god who is holy in himself cannot be desecrated any other thing that has been made holy can be desecrated that is why not too long ago when there was shit bombing in one church the bishop had to go there to reconsecrate the place to god because the place had been desecrated i pray that you shall not desecrate yourself i pray that you shall remain consecrated consecrated to god and for his purpose may the lord bring us to that consciousness that we are very important in the kingdom but we are in this we are not indispensable may the lord bind us together in unity and may the lord keep us consecrated for himself may he bless us now and forever amen